Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is According to Truth. Beloved family, our text says, I gave your word to them and the world hated them because they didn't belong to this world just as I don't belong to this world. I'm not asking that you take them out of this world, but that you keep them safe from the evil one. They don't belong to this world just as I don't belong to this world. Make them holy in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. I made myself holy on their behalf so that they also would be made holy in the truth. John 17, 14 and 19. The Gospel of John, the source of our text this morning, opens with this familiar verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. John 1, 1 1-5 Let's establish this truth today. The world was in darkness until the light of the world came and shined in the darkness. In this text, darkness is ignorance or lack of knowledge. And for this reason, the lack of knowledge, the people perish, says the prophet Hosea in chapter 4, verse 6. The Lord says, my people take advice from a piece of wood and their divining rod gives them predictions. A spirit of prostitution has led them astray. They have left God to follow other gods. Hosea 4, 12. And on cue, the apostle Paul writes, Although they knew God, they don't honor God as God or thank him. Instead, their reasoning became pointless and their foolish hearts were darkened. While they were claiming to be wise, they made fools of themselves. They exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images that look like mortal humans, birds, animals, and reptiles. So God abandoned them to their heart's desires, which led them to the moral corruption of degrading their own bodies with each other. They traded God's truth for a lie, and they worshipped and served the creation instead of the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Romans 1, 21-25 Their foolish heart were darkened. They exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images of created things. And they traded God's truth for a lie. So because of this, he turned them over to believe those things that they believe. The truth according to me. This is another form of false religion and the doctrine do what thou wilt. So let's examine this mindset to see what Jesus Christ, who is the living word, the light of the world, and the truth of God says about it. When faced with sacrificing his life to save a sick, dying world who hated him, Jesus says, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke twenty-two forty-two. King Jesus did not take the position, I will do what I will, because that would be in rebellion to his father. Throughout his life, he would say, I work because my father is always working. I only say what I hear my father say, and I only do what I see my father doing. For I and the father are one. King Jesus is the light. He is the truth. He says, those who believe in him, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teaching. Then you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So we shall know the truth by whose teaching? The world, men, false religions, you, 
me? No, he says, you shall know the truth according to Jesus Christ, not the truth according to me or you. And when we know the truth, accept and believe the truth, we open our eyes in the dark to see the light shining. Then we shall be set free. Don't miss that. If the truth sets us free, what has us in bondage or locked up? Yes, you get it, a lie. The truth sets us free from a lie that we can do whatever we will, that we can rewrite the laws of God to fit our own agenda or our own feelings. God does not judge, we say. He is a God of love and we can love whom we please, marry and be merry. We can be gender fluid, but that's a lie. He is the righteous judge, as David clearly says. God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. Psalm 7, 11. And then King Jesus says this in reply to the Pharisees who questioned him about divorcing. Jesus answered, haven't you read that at the beginning the creator made them male and female? And God said, because of this, a man should leave his father and mother and be joined together with his wife and the two will be one flesh. Therefore, man shall not pull apart or separate what God has put together. Matthew 19, 4 to 6. What God has put together, we shall not separate. God has put together his word and his decrees and his laws in the earth that says we are male and female, that tells us the truth about who we are. We should not separate God's word and make it a lie. So the truth is God made man or mankind, male or female. We did not make ourselves. This is the genealogy of Adam or man. In the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female and blessed them and called them mankind in the day they were created. Genesis 5, 1 to 2. The word man is the word Adam, which means ruddy earth or dark earth, which was more a description than a name. The word male is related to the function of the man, and so is the word female. This is the truth according to God, not the truth according to me. Let God be true and every man be a liar. Romans 3, 4. We don't get to rewrite the word of God and call it truth. Not because we feel a certain way does that make it truth according to how we feel. King Jesus felt like he didn't want to drink the cup of suffering for a wretched world, but he didn't go by his feelings. He did not go by his will or what he wanted. He said, Father God, not my will, but your will be done. Yahusha means Yah saves. Yahweh saves. Jesus Christ came to save us from the darkness and ignorance that is in the world and in our hearts. Please, family, repent. Turn back and accept the truth according to Christ Jesus and be set free. Reject the truth according to me, which really is a lie. Much love.